Hello everyone and welcome to our Primavera course version 18 and this is Alex Lindawi, uh, Project Control Manager, California, USA and this is lecture number two that we will talk about how to download a legal copy from Primavera P6 version 18 and also how to do the database configurations. Let's start. Okay. So here, uh, the website edelivery.article.com that you will go and you download the software. And when you download the software, it will be like that. And the software is going to be the third folder, which is uh, 173 megabyte. Okay. After that, when you open this file, you will find this version is uh, applicable for Windows uh, X64 and you will have the three files that you have here. Uh, okay, and you have the setup that we will use to install the software. When you do the setup, you're going to get this uh, 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 screenshot. Okay, you're going to choose typical or advanced. Okay, I'm gonna go and choose typical. And if you have a previous revision from Oracle, you're gonna find down here, replace existing version, if you would like to replace it. But if you don't, you can take it out and you can install a new version from Primavera. Okay, and then you will do install. After that, Okay, you're gonna go and choose run database configurations. This is the most important part and please uh, focus with me to understand it very well. Okay, and you're gonna choose from this uh, uh, step Microsoft SQL Lite. Microsoft SQL Lite, the last one in the tab when you open this arrow, you're gonna go to the standalone standalone SQL, the standalone SQL, okay? And after that, you can write the host name or the database name P6. And you will get right now here in inter public login informations, and you have the database Elias BMDP. You enter the username pub users, uh, and password pub user p u b user okay and after that you will get here configure a p6 professional database standalone and you have the database elias and you're gonna make what you're gonna make add a new standalone the one is not highlighted here it's called add a new standalone database don't choose the first one, choose the second one. Okay, by this step, you will have your name, database Elias, and you can put your login name, Ali, whatever you want, like what I put here, or your uh, girlfriend name, your name, whatever you want, and you can add your personal name, you can add the shortcut, like the currency you put it in US dollar if you are in USA or any country you can put your country currency and you can add the password and you confirm the password okay and by this step you're gonna have the software and you will use your login name and your password okay I hope this is very easy step and you will be able to download uh, P6 and also you uh, will be able to do the database configurations and when you open it you will find it like that Primavera P6 version 18 and you will show you here the all the toolbars activity tables Gannett chart and activity details thank you so much for watching and see you in the next lectures which is going to be very nice lectures i hope you enjoyed this simplified lecture and bye bye see you